Hey, this is Jake, LifelinePetSupplies.com. Today we're going to cover hooking up your digital humidity system. I'm going to go over basically just a step-by-step -step that's pretty simple. Um, you may have a digital humidity control here on the top, or you may have purchased this separately, which is going to come with a pump. It's also going to come with tubing and connections. Here's the blue humidity tube. And then you've got connections to be used with the nebulizer or humidity and... I want to go over those uh, step by step here for you. So this is pretty easy to set up. Um, you just kind of need to do follow the procedure step by step. One important thing to note is that the humidity pump, the top of the pump, needs to sit lower than the bottom of the incubator. So we actually recommend putting this pump on the floor um, next to where you're going to keep the incubator and keep this blue tubing running at a decline so it has no spots, no low spots in it back to the humidity pump. So uh, first things first, let's get started here. Um, you're going to see your humidifier here. You've got a control dial for the humidity here. Um, that's going to control it off and on and then that's going to plug into the P side of your controller there for pump. Uh, this other side has power all the time so you can plug in if you've got the other box, I guess you can plug it in that way you just have one cord to the wall here. That's the setup we've done here. And uh, right now we're letting the incubator come up to temperature. So let me get uh, water in the reservoir uh, for the humidity pump. And you're going to see that is actually right here. This loosens up. And then you're going to put distilled water uh, into this. And we recommend using distilled or purified water so that it does not uh, cause calcium and lime buildup on the pump. And uh, I'm going to get this filled with water and be back here in just a second. Okay, so I filled that about halfway with water here, and you're going to see some bubbles come up there in the humidifier. The next thing I'm going to do is actually take this tube, will pressure fit down into the bottom here. And when it gets to the bottom, make sure it goes all the way in seats, and then just kind of push and turn to the right so that it gets tight. You will lose a little bit of humidity out here, but it isn't going to be enough that it's going to affect the uh, affect the performance. Um, so what we're going to do with this tube next is get ready to put it into its input. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to actually pop out this front uh, black disc here from the inside, and so just pressure pressure on that to uh, to pop that out, and that's where your tubing is going to end up going. Uh, the end of your tube here is going to pressure fit right into there. And you just need to put just a little bit of pressure there. So that goes on to about the first rung and kind of holds in there. It's really pretty simple. Should look like that from the inside. And that's going to push your humidity into the unit. There we go. Okay. So like I said before, the next thing we're going to want to do is put this pump onto the floor now. Um, I'm showing you this for setup purposes. It's best to do it from the floor and run your tubing down. So what I'm actually going to do is take the tubing out of here real quick, set this on the floor, uh, and then come back here in a second and show you the rest of the connections. Okay, we're back, and I've, we've got that on the floor now. So that's running at a decline, as you can see, back to the pump there. And it is pumping humidity into the But what we need to take a look at is actually our sensors, or two sensors that come out of the back of the unit. So you have one that has a yellow, red, and black wire. That is the actual humidity sensor. And if I hold that, you're going to see that humidity start to rise quickly because it's picking up the moisture here. And we want to put that on the back of the unit. I'll show you real quick here where that goes. Right here, this uh, black grommet here at the top, that's just going to pressure fit into there. And it really doesn't matter which side. I guess I put the, the black glossy side kind of up there and I'm going to pressure fit that into there and it does fit pretty snug. You want it about three-fourths of the way in there. And then you've got another sensor here. That's the silver sensor. It actually can go into this grommet. If you've got the heat lamp incubator next to where the heat lamp sensor is on the left hand side there from the back. Really all that's for is for dehumidification which we're not doing right now. However, <clears throat> we want to put it in there. So that it is reading if we need to do that. So what I'll do is open this up and I'm going to put a small loop 
into this and I'll do that real quick and then uh, I'll come back and show you what we do next. Okay, so I've put a small loop in the sensor there and now I'm just going to feed that back through. You can pull it through from the back side. I'm just going to feed that back through here so that now that sensor sticking in and it isn't touching the wall there. It's just reading humidity here. And I'm going to close up the door and you're going to start to see that humidity level uh, begin to rise as it's pumping the humidity in. And the door open there so our temperature alarm was going off as that's heating up. But you'll begin to see that going up. Now right now I actually have it set for 50%. If you hit that set button one time you can see what it's set for. So when that gets to 50%, 1% uh, over or under actually it's going to shut off. Uh, so here it's rising up right now. 49, there we go. So we shut off at 50. You're going to get a little bit of a little bit of fluctuation in it um, before it begins to come back down. And what you want to do to minimize that fluctuation uh, is just to go to the dial on your humidifier. Just turn it back just a little bit until you see the least amount of fluctuation out of it. And when that goes 1% below at 49, you'll see the light kick on. And now the pump kick back on. There's the light on the pump and it's pumping humidity back into the unit again and it'll begin to rise pumping humidity back into the unit and that's going to keep that humidity regulated uh, inside the unit you want it between about 40 and 60 percent so we set the target for 50 and to change that setting on your controller just hit the set button one time use your up or down arrows for where you want to put your humidity percentage at and then hit set again Now, you need to make sure on your pump that you've got plenty of water in there. Uh, if you're losing a lot through here, you want to make sure that a um, lot coming up through the top. You want to make sure that you tighten that hose uh, so that it's, it's not a ton of it's coming out of there and that most of it's going into the hose, as you can see coming in through here. Please make sure that you've got this running at a decline. You can trim the hose if needed. We recommend just trying to move it away so you don't have to, but you can trim the hose if you need to. And that will regulate that humidity percentage. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call now. The back connection back here is actually for an oxygen concentrator where you want your oxygen to go. One other thing you can do to help regulate your humidity and keep your pump from kicking on and off all the time is to put a small cup of water back here in the cup holder with a um, small cup of water with a uh, three-fourths full of water with a sponge or a rag in it. And that's just going to regulate out on its own. When you open the door, of course, you're going to see some fluctuation with it. Um, we usually recommend to set it up about an hour, at least an hour before. Um, we really recommend as soon as you get the unit to set it up and check everything. Make sure uh, you understand the unit and it gives plenty of time if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to... Um, message us at customer service at lifelinepetsupplies.com or give us a call uh, during our business hours uh, at 937-720-0039, Monday through Friday. Uh, we're here from about 9 to 4. Um, and if after hours, please email customer service at lifelinepetsupplies.com. Let us know if you have any questions at all. Uh, your setup on the control on the top, if you don't have your temperature controller, should really just be the pump plugged into the P, and that's what's going to kick that on and off. And, of course, the sensor's in the correct spot. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, uh, just message us, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.